Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today guys for another Ghost Recon Wildlands In-Depth. Today is episode 9 and we're going to be talking about the Scorpion Evo submachine gun. So overall, this submachine gun, you can compare it a lot to the Vector. Um, I did the Vector the other day, I will link that video down in the description. But uh, this weapon is a lot of fun to use. Like I said, it's very similar to the Vector. Um, it does feel like it handles just a little bit better. Um, but it does have a little bit more recoil. So this is the Scorpion Evo 3. I'm going to break this thing apart and show you guys how I have it set up. I have the extended buttstock, panoramic sight for close quarters. I have the full auto semi, um, the extended mag, which is 30 rounds, the AFG front grip, the laser three dot, long barrel, and the stock muzzle. And I have been switching it a little bit back and forth between the stock muzzle and the suppressor, um, going, kind of going around in bases and trying to run and gun inside of bases and stuff like that. But uh, this is basically where you find the weapon. It is in the southern, let's see, the southeast corner of the Kani. If you go to the uh, the Charlie spawn point, it's literally the base right next to it, and it's in this back right corner of the, the hangar. Um, I actually got alerted when I was trying to get in here, so I just blast these dudes. And if you just run back to the back corner of the hangar, it will be waiting for you right there, and, uh, you know, go have some fun with this weapon. It does shoot 600 rounds per minute, so it is just a little bit slower um, than the Vector, but it does pack a punch. Uh, it does have a little bit of control issue. I mean, obviously, it has a very, very, very high rate of fire. Um, I believe it has the highest rate of fire of the submachine gun class, but this thing just it just shreds right through people. It's, it's so much fun to use, and if you guys have not used it, I strongly recommend to use it. You can stack it however you want, but mostly you're going to want to try to stack handling on this. I did kind of set it up both ways with trying to get as much accuracy as I could and then stacking with as much handling as I could. And handling just felt like when you maxed it out as much as you could, made it so it was a much more a much more fluid experience because you could kind of snap into the aiming down sights a lot quicker and, uh, you know, run from target to target and be able to, you know, real flick and shoot and stuff like that. So it's a very, very good gun if you stack handling as high as you can. Uh, it makes it so you can kind of run and gun and, you know, aim and shoot and stuff like that a lot quicker. But uh, overall, this gun, I have used this gun actually a little bit um, as I've been playing through as a secondary. So I've been rocking the uh, the Mark 17 Assault Rifle, which has a very long range, especially depending on the sight you put on it. You could almost basically take that gun as a sniper. And then I keep the Scorpion as a backup weapon for tight quarters and stuff like that because it just shreds, absolutely shreds through enemies. So if you guys, like I said, if you guys have not tried this weapon, give it a go. Let me know down in the comments if you guys do. Let me know what you think of the weapon. Do you like it? Do you not like it? You know, is it not powerful enough? Stuff like that. But it does have the highest rate of fire in the submachine gun class, and it just shreds through enemies. I'm not trying to be a broken record, guys, but it does. But uh, that is pretty much all for the breakdown of the Scorpion Evo 3. If you guys enjoyed this video, you guys found it helpful, you guys have already used this weapon and you're enjoying it, let me know down in the comments and also drop a like on the video, guys. It would be much appreciated. Also, if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more awesome Ghost Recon Wildlands content. I am actually probably going to be jumping on some Rainbow Six Siege. I might do a few live streams. I actually played it for the first time last night other than the beta. I have not played it since the closed alpha and the, and the beta, and I jumped on it last night and played it with some friends, and it was such a blast. So stay tuned for more of that. Thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.